Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day, just like me. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a time band UI. This has been in my comments on my band UI video. You, um, you should see it now. I put a card up on the screen. And, um, yeah, so this has been requested a lot. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it. So, what we're going to do first is we want to go ahead and make the GUI for the banning. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to go and open up a, make a new screen GUI and start a GUI. Inside that screen GUI, let's go and put in a frame. Um, we'll go ahead and make it kind of big this time since uh, we need it to. So, let's go and make it, uh, let's go ahead and make it like. 200 by two by 350 so uh, 3 by 4 and then 200 so there we go so we just made it slightly bigger so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, edit this frame a little bit I'm going to go ahead and give it a blue background and then I'll go ahead <clears throat> and click OK to that and then the border will go and make it pure white and there we go so here we go we got um, our uh, frame right there now let's go ahead and make it a text label and stretch it across here and then we'll go ahead and um, we're going to make it kind of big and then what we're going to put um, in this here let's make it 35 actually there we go so um, now let's go ahead and we're going to call this um, ban GUI. So um, oops, <laughs> yeah. So now let's go ahead and um, edit this. We'll go ahead and make the background transparency zero. Um, I mean uh, one, not zero. So then there's nothing in the background. We'll go ahead and put our text color as white, and then put the text scaled. And then we'll go ahead and call this um, time. Uh, no, we'll just call it ban GUI. Ban GUI. Alright. And then um, here, uh, we'll actually go ahead and edit that name to be in uh, one piece. Ah. Uh, never mind. So we're just not going to do that, I guess. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, um, we'll go ahead and make. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, text boxes. So these are where um, you're going to type in. So this one is going to be for the um, name of the player. We'll just uh, edit this a little bit. So this will be for the name of the player. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and um, make the background color of this a little bit uh, lighter blue if I can even find the background here it is right now I mean I guess we can't I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah uh, maybe add attribute uh, guess not Where'd I find it? oh it's a uh, I don't, I don't know why I was like that. I'm sorry, guys. So we're going to make it a little bit lighter blue. So we'll go ahead. Um, oh, that is purple. There. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and click OK to that. We'll go ahead and put the placeholder text as name. And then uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that this text is scaled so it will be like kind of bigger. And then for the text color, we'll go ahead and make it pure white. So then we can just type in here. Alright, so now, um, I'm going to go and make this the border of this um, white as well. Now, let's go ahead and duplicate this. Um, so, let's go and space it out a little bit. So, this will be the amount, like the amount um, of time. So, we'll go ahead and uh, make the, yeah, so we'll go ahead and do um, amount of time, and then 
Uh, Wilhelm deal in seconds. And then, um, yeah. So now what we're gonna do? Uh, oh yeah, we need to name these. Um, let me, let, let's go ahead and make uh, the name of the name text box. Um, player name. And then we're gonna make this one time. And let's go ahead and duplicate this one again. And then this time below, uh, we'll go ahead and this will be the reason. So let's go ahead and make the title of uh, this one. I don't know if we can find it. Yep. We're going to make this one reason. Okay. So now, after that, we'll go ahead and add in a text button. And this will be, um, like, kind of like a submit button. Like, this will, like, say, hey, go ahead and ban him, or whatever, basically. Let's go ahead and just uh, make that. Okay. Go ahead and make this one um, light blue as well. I'm gonna make the border color of this white. Uh, make the text color of this white. And then for the text, we'll go ahead and type in ban. And we'll go ahead and turn on text scaled as well. There. And then now they just click that button. Um, and yeah. <clears throat> So now we'll go ahead and um, now that we're done with uh, this, we'll go ahead and name this text button. Um, if I can find the name, yep, ban. So now we'll go ahead and add in a script into the text button, a local script, and we'll go ahead and type in. Uh, oh yeah, before we do this, uh, go into replicated storage, and then insert a remote event, and then this will be called ban. So yeah, now we go in the local script, <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and uh, type in, uh, yep, script dot, um, oh yeah, dot parent dot mouse button one click, colon connect, function, and then uh, we'll go ahead and insert some parentheses, enter. So now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> uh, we'll go ahead and type in game dot replicate storage dot um, ban colon fire server and then now inside these parentheses we'll go ahead and put um, scripts dot parent dot parent dot player name and then comma script dot parent dot parent dot time and then last but not least script dot parent dot parent dot reason okay now that we're done with this um uh yeah we're good on the script so you can go and close out that script now what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and make the uh, button to toggle this band GUI. So yeah, and also you can also position this band GUI anywhere you want. I just decided to put it here. Um, you can you can also do the same thing with all these buttons and stuff. So yeah. Um, oh actually I do want to um, edit this right here. Um, let's, yep, right here. So we'll go ahead and scroll all the way back, and we'll go ahead and make this text alignment to the left, and this one to the top. So now we'll also go ahead and turn off text scaled, but we will increase the text size a little bit maybe. Um, so okay, yep, that's good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and make this one reason because we forgot to do that okay now that we're done 
uh, with the GUI, and now we have to go into the toggle button. So inside the screen GUI, I, um, not the frame, inside the screen GUI, you want to insert the text button, and then you can also go right, yeah, right here in the middle, and then we'll go ahead and edit this button a little bit, so let's go ahead and make the, um, this, <laughs> we'll go ahead and make the this, um, yeah, I think, Let's go ahead and edit the text. Um, we'll go ahead and make the text color white, not, not cyan. And then text, we'll go ahead and make it toggle man GUI. We'll go ahead and make the text size 30. And um, let's go ahead and make sure. Yep, looks like we're all done um, designing the toggle button. So go ahead and insert a script into here, and it's gonna go ahead and say script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and that enter. So now that we got that, we need to go ahead and say if uh. Actually, hold on, let's go ahead and make a variable for the frame. So we'll go ahead and say local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot frame. Okay. So now we'll go ahead. Uh, I don't know what happens. I think my enter button is like broken or whatever. Okay, that was weird. Ah, God. Oh my God, my enter button is like stuck. Ah, 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 ah. Oh dear God. Oh my God. Um. Okay, let's go ahead <laughs> and take out all these lines. So I'm gonna give it a second. It's uh, almost done, at least. I'm gonna see. Alright, let's go ahead and scroll up a little bit. Alright. God, my enter button is like being stuck for some reason. Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and get back on track. So if, um, uh, no, no, no. If frame dot, um, yeah. If frame dot visible equals no uh, equals equals true then and then enter and then we'll go ahead so like uh, if it is visible then we'll go ahead and make it not visible by saying uh, f no not function frame dot visible equals false but what if it is not visible then we'll go ahead and type in enter and then we'll say else and then we'll go ahead and type in frame dot visible e uh, not equals equals just equals and then true so um, that'll be good now so now whenever we um, run the thing um, uh, this should work. Oh yeah, it's because we're running it. We have to like actually wait. Okay. Well, it's fine. So, um, no, not run. Eh. There. Play. So now, whenever we um load in, what we can do, we can just use this button to toggle this. So, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and click on stop, and we'll go ahead and. Um, uh, what was it? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, we need to make uh, the main script now. So, we'll go ahead and make uh, the script right here. So, um, now, um, this script is gonna give, like, this script should be the last one that we are gonna make, so, 
Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is whenever a player joins, what we're going to do is we're going to type in game dot players um, dot player added colon connect function enter ah oh, oh god okay <clears throat> so now um, that we have that we're gonna go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and add in a couple of values um, and what we're gonna do with that is we'll just go ahead and add in um, uh, three values one is going to be a bool value which is like a true and false make sure that it's um, always false for right now um, and we'll call this is banned so yeah now that it's called is banned we'll go ahead and make another um, <clears throat> value it's going to be an int value and uh, this int value what it is is going to be called is time which is going to be like the amount of time they're banned for so um or well this time is going to be like um when they can get back on so now that we have that we're going to go ahead and add in another value and this value is going to be a string value and this is going to be the um the reason of why they're banned so we'll go ahead and call this reason and then um, we'll also go ahead and make a another string value and this is going to be the name of the player that banned them so we'll just go ahead and call this player name so yeah and then this is where their name is going to go so now let's go ahead and uh, so we're going to add in another, we're going to go and add in a folder, and we'll call this ban folder. So let's go ahead and highlight all these values, and then put them right inside the folder. So um, now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we need to clone this folder. So, um what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and make a value for the folder and we'll call this uh, ban folder equals script dot ban folder okay now we'll go ahead and go and clone it so um, we'll go ahead and type in local new uh, ban folder equals um, band folder colon clone there we go now I'm um, we'll go ahead and say new band folder dot parent equals um, oh yeah inside these parentheses we need to put PLR I forgot to do that I'm sorry guys um, right here there and then this will equal PLR so this will give it to, this will give uh, this folder to the player. So um, yeah, now we'll, now once we are done with that, we'll go ahead and type in. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, actually we are not. Um, um, oh my god. Uh, yeah okay no yeah so we're gonna go ahead and say if plr dot um ban folder dot is band dot value um equals equals true so if they are banned and then um and OS dot time and then um um what was it yeah 
so if OS dot time and then we'll go and put the doesn't symbol and then equals. So if it doesn't equal um, the uh, time, the time value, so we'll go and do PLR. Um, wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm, I'm like getting this up, guys. I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, we need to type in, um, so. Not OS dot. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so if it equals true, then we need to check. So if not OS dot time and then equals equals. Um, oh, wait, no, uh, equals and then greater than symbol. Um, no, I, I, I put that backwards. Uh, less than symbol and then equals. Oh wait, no, that's that's a greater than symbol. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so if not OS dot time greater than symbol equals meaning so if this is equal to or above, or not equal to or above, then um. Okay. Um. Uh, equal to the PLR dot ban folder dot uh, time dot value then equals or I mean enter um, so basically this is saying like if there is ban value equals true and um, there the time, the OS dot time, um, which in case you don't know, uh, OS dot time is basically the amount of seconds that has passed ever since January 1st, 1970. So, um, basically, uh, it's start, it's like a global timer that started there and it keeps going. So, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, now what we're gonna go, um, that's basically what that is, it's in seconds, um, which is why we need to, uh, put the, the amount of time in seconds there. So, like, say if they wanted to ban them for three hours, all you gotta do is Google three hours and seconds, and then just type in that, and then they'll be banned for three hours, so don't worry, that'll be good. You can also do amount of days or anything. If you want them to be, like, banned for, like, a long time, like, for life, just... Make it towards like a hundred years or something. So yeah. <clears throat> so now, um, after we got that, we'll go ahead and um, so this is if it has not been um, time for them to be unbanned. We'll go ahead and uh, do plr colon kick and then parentheses. So this will kick the player out of the game, and then this will say you have uh, been, oh wait, no, I forgot, I need to put uh, parentheses, I mean, no, no quotation marks, so yeah, you have been, have <laughs> been banned by, and then space, and I'm going to do dot dot, um, plr dot ban folder, dot um player name dot value and then dot dot parentheses <clears throat> um <clears throat> yeah. so um yeah so plr dot band for dot player name dot value and then dot dot and then space for And then, uh, yeah, so this will say, uh, the time, so then we're just gonna do dot dot plr dot ban folder dot time dot value, then dot dot, and I'll go and put this, and then we'll do, uh, space seconds, 
and then period, and then we'll do space, reason, space, and then we'll do um, dot dot plr dot then folder dot uh, reason dot value. So there we go. Now we're done with that. So basically, what this is uh, going to say is. It says you have been banned by, and then it's going to say the player um, that banned them, uh, and then it's going to say four, and then um, the amount of time in seconds. So it's going to say four, like say you banned them for five seconds, and it would say four five seconds because there's seconds right here, and then it's going to uh, put reason and then uh, a colon symbol, and then uh, it's going to say the reason. So now, um, after that, we'll go ahead and do an enter after this, and then we'll say else. So, um, what if um, this? So what if this is true? Basically, then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type in <clears throat> um, um, what was it? Yeah. Uh, plr dot ban folder and then dot uh, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, dot uh, is bans dot value um, equals false. So there we go. So now um, this is going to say, so if they join the server and apparently it says that they're still banned, um, now it's going to check if, um, so like if the OS, um, dot time, um, is greater than or equal to the amount of time that they have been banned for, um, or like the amount of time it is until they get unbanned. So if you ban them for, uh, um... Oh, wait, no, 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 please don't type that in, um, that's like, that's, oh my god, um, hold on, give me a second, we need to, um, need to make a variable here that says, um, time ban, so, um, we're gonna do local time ban, and then we'll go ahead and do, <clears throat> um, equals um, um yeah and that's going to be uh we'll just copy this um so copy and we need to paste that and then minus os dot time and then uh parentheses yeah so this um so what we're going to type in here is we're going to add um, this to, like, the OS time. So when we know, so, like, what we're going to do is we're going to make this time value OS.time, so the amount of seconds that has been um, from, like, uh, January 1st, 1970. And then um, we're going to add, so we're going to add the OS.time, which is that. And then um, we're going to add... Um, the amount of time that they said that they need to be banned for. So basically, um, if you, we actually ran this right now, it would and like say you ban them for five seconds. No, it would not say four or five seconds. It would say for like a million six hundred whatever. Or like this is when like the amount of seconds like it has been before they get unbanned. So yeah. So what we need to do is we're going to minus it by the OS time, um, and we'll go ahead and type in more. So then it'll say the amount of seconds until they get unbanned. So yeah, now instead of writing this, we need to write in time ban. Okay, so now, now we're good, guys. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Um, actually, let's go ahead and uh, copy this, and because um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do Control X, um, 
um, and then we'll go ahead and just do that. Control V. And then now here we'll go ahead and type in PLR dot ban folder dot um, is band dot value um, equals uh, false. And then we'll go ahead and take out this not. So yeah, because uh, I'm afraid that this may not work, so yeah, that's just me. So yeah, so now we have to go ahead and set up the band system. Well, it, it's kind of setting up, it's like halfway, but now we just got to make it to where now people can ban people. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and and uh, type in game.replicated storage. Um, dot ban dot on server event so when the server event is fired which is when they click that uh, GUI button um, and then we'll do colon connect function and then we'll go ahead and type in our variables so this will be PLR so the player that actually ran the event the player that tried to ban someone and then comma and then I believe um, I need to check this local script um, no, not, not this one. Um, the band. Okay. And then um, we'll do PLR2 ban. So this is going to be the player that's uh, going to need to be banned. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do time and then comma reason. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and type in, um, uh, what was it? I'm, I'm like losing brain cells here because I can't think properly. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. Okay. So basically what you're going to need to type in is we'll go ahead and set the values for the um, is band and like the time. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and make a variable for the time um, that they need to be banned for. So we'll go ahead and do local time for ban equals os dot time. So the time that they uh, banned, like they clicked the ban button, um, and then um, plus uh, the amount of time. So, um, oh wait, hold up, we need to um, make something first, so local, we'll go ahead and do local time number equals and then two number, and then um, we'll go ahead and type in time. So this basically just turns a string into uh, a number. Um, wait, hold up. Give me one second, guys. Okay, yeah, guys, I was right. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I was taking, thinking. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and type in our uh, next um, thing. Or whatever, so yeah, it'll be um, um, local time for ban and then equals um, <clears throat> sorry, equals time no os dot time and then plus time number so basically um that's just going to add the os dot time for when they click the ban button into the um amount of time that they said that they want to ban for so yeah basically um in case you don't know again this is just converting the string because whenever you like um type something in here this is into a string number so like text and stuff this is just converting those into uh, uh yeah um, oh, um, oh my god, I did the most stupidest mistake. We gotta, we gotta put dot, 
text after these. Oh my god, I am so sorry, guys. Just go ahead and just do that right now. It's, don't worry, it's a really quick and easy fix. I'm glad I caught it before um, it wouldn't work. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. So, now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and and um, um what, what's Yeah. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and um, make the variable for the player to ban. So we'll do PLR to ban and then equals. Um, so I think we can do this. Um, game dot players um, colon. Um, okay, yeah, so we just do colon, uh, fine, first child, and then we're going to go ahead and um, type in TLR to ban. So, uh, yeah, that's basic. what that is going to do, is this is going to find the player that, uh, the person that submitted want wants to ban and then that's just making that's just reversing this variable that we made right here into um the player instead of just their name so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and um um am I, no i'm not missing anything so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and um set a data store for all these values for um all of these values so they will um all save so what we're gonna go ahead and do is um right here we need to do um oh, sorry game dot uh um yeah dot players no not dot parent players dot player removing and then colon connect function and then there and uh, inside these parentheses on the function we just type in PLR so now after that we're gonna go ahead and uh, type in <clears throat> um, like their data store uh, values so whenever they uh, get removed then uh, yeah so, um, we need to go up here, and we need to type in, um, data store equals, and then game dot, um, oh no, colon get service, and then, uh, data store, oh my god, I hate this data store service and then um colon get data store and then parentheses and then this is uh well and then we well, you need to make this um the unique name of like what it is so like say so like make it your game name and then um like bands because if a hacker or someone finds out about your data store name act like this is a password basically if um someone finds it out then an exploiter can um access the data store and they can just like remove bands of anyone they want and they can also add bands of anyone they want so act like this is a password and also technically all you got to do is if they uh find a data store you all you got to do is just go into a roblox game and then just get that data store, then you're like in, you can remove bands, you can add bands, all that. So yeah. Um, so I feel like this is a password. I'm not, because like I'm not really worried about this. Um, but I'll, I'll just call it test ban. You can also add spaces and stuff, so yeah, that'll be good. Um, now, what we're going to do 
is we're going to go ahead and um, scroll down to here. And we'll go ahead and type in data store colon sets async, which is like their data. And then um, we'll go ahead and type in um, plr uh, dot user ID and then dot dot um, <coughs> And then uh, dash uh, player. So yeah, this will be like the player that banned them. And then basically you repeat the same thing. Um, oh, and also uh, you need to put a comma um, and like set the data for that key or whatever. And or you just type in plr dot ban folder dot um player name dot value so yeah now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um <clears throat> yeah get this and then um we'll go ahead and just uh copy that and then um actually no we don't even need to be um doing this what we need to be doing is we need to be putting it here so we need to set these values. Um, so instead of just typing out that, uh, all we need to type out is just, um, um, yeah. So plr dot name. So yeah. And then now we need to just uh, paste uh, this in. And then um, this will be the amount of time that they are banned for, so we'll just do dash time. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, and then this will just, uh, be time. Oh. Um. Oh, wait, actually, no, we do. We need to put this and that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry guys, I'm, I'm like kind of tired right now, so yeah. So, we'll just type in uh, game dot um, players dot player moving um, colon connect function parentheses enter. Okay. So yeah, we need to put this um, in here. And then, yeah, so all those errors are going to come up. Just give me a second. Um, and then we'll just have to do the same thing. Um, so we'll actually just go ahead and do uh, copy and paste. Control V. So, and um, make sure that that is like this. So, um, let's go ahead and just uh, copy. Alright, so now um, here, we'll go ahead and uh, paste this in. And then uh, for the player name, we'll go ahead and make this time. So, um, and then we'll also do the same thing for here. We're going to do time. So, yep, um, that's um, it for that. Now, uh, oh no, we need to do the, uh, the, the reason, and then there's something else. Oh yeah, and there is band value. So, um, we'll go ahead and just paste that. We'll call this um, reason because we need to, and then we'll, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it reason for simplification. That was weird. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> simplification. Okay, and then um, this will be there. Is band is band. So um, good. Now that we got that, now we just gotta uh, set these. Um, values. Oh, um, and let's go ahead and uh, copy these real quick. And then uh, inside this player added, we actually need to go ahead and um, uh, make this. So, yeah, basically, yeah, okay, let's just go ahead and uh, 
put that in here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna um, basically move this over here, and then we're gonna do space equals. So yeah. So then it's just gonna go and type in the value. So let's go ahead and uh, do all of that real quick. Um, we need to get rid of this comma. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just, uh, uh, oh. Okay, and then. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And last one. And equals. Okay, so, um, oh. Oh, was an accident. Okay, so um, now we just need to um, change those S's to G, so it's gonna be get a get a async. Um, so yeah, there we go. So now it's just gonna go and set those values. Now we're like good. <laughs> so <sighs> sorry. Alright, so now um, that we're done with uh, that, again, um, let's go ahead and just uh, type in the, let's go ahead and change these values with the band. So, um, yep, now, um, this, don't worry, oh, excuse me, um, this is our last part, so, um, yeah, yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, set these values. So, um, what we need to do here is we're gonna go ahead and um, type in uh, uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, paste these I guess I guess we can um, actually no but I do know what I am gonna do okay what I, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna copy these copy There. And then control V and then um, equals so the name of uh, the player is going to be uh, um, PLR dot name. I'm going to do the uh, control V, same thing. So this time instead of player dot name, it's going to be the amount of time. So then it's going to be equal to time. Uh, for ban, um, and then we're gonna go and make this the reason, and then for the reason, and, uh, click on equals, and then um, reason. Now, last one, or uh, second to last, I guess you could say, uh, um, is bands dot is band dot value equals um, true. And then now, technically last one, this is where we kick the player. Um, all we have to do is basically just like copy this. Just copy. And then paste. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and uh, go through. Um, oh, uh, yeah, I need to fix that. Um, one. Make this time four there. There. So now um, that we're done with this, let's go ahead and see um, what um, this uh, is. So now uh, what we're going to do is it says, so let's go ahead and start from here. So first of all, we got our um, variable for the band folder in the data store it clones the it clones this and then it go ahead and then um, it sets the values of all the things that are in the band folder um, into the data store that it was last set to and then now this if statement so if the is band value does equal true um, then it's going to go and run the next if statement so if the um, OS dot time is equal to or greater than um, the plr dot uh, band forward dot time dot value so the time when they get unbanned 
So if it equals to that or it's greater than that, um, then basically uh, what that does, hold on. Yeah, so basically um, what that does is that just uh, makes this uh, the value false. But um, if it is not like that, so like basically if um, this right here is more than the os.time, so when they aren't unbanned yet, basically it just um, s uh, makes this into like the amount of time of more seconds that they're banned for and, and then it kicks the player saying you've been banned by the player that banned them for and then the amount of time um that like until they get unbanned for this more seconds and then it's gonna test and then it's gonna say the reason right here now let's go ahead and look at this so whenever we um run the ban server event what it does is we have all our variables right here, the player that ran the event, uh, or the player that's trying to ban someone, the player to ban, the time amount that they're going to be banned, and the reason why they're being banned. <clears throat> so, um, um, so this is basically just making the time from a string into a number, and then this right here, the time for ban, is going to make this, um, and is going to add this the OS dot time into this, and then um, the player uh, it says time for um, now we, got, we should have said unban, but it's fine. Um, and then the player to ban, we're gonna go ahead and find instead of just being the name like as the string, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and actually find it. So we're basically just overriding that variable, um, and uh, we just said find find first child, meaning like find the player inside the player's folder, um, uh, which is this right here. So this is going to be like a list of all the players. And then um, it's going to be the string value um, of like, yeah, what they need to find. So then once it finds it, um, it's going to go ahead and run this. So it's going to go ahead and um, name this folder. Yeah, so this is going to go and set the name of the um, of the player that banned them into the value. This sets the time. This sets the reason. And then this sets the is banned value equal to true. And then it kicks the player. And then it says um, exactly what this says, basically. Um, so yeah, now whenever they um, they get kicked or they leave the game... Um, it also sets these, um, it also sets this to the data store, so if they join back, then it'll say the same thing. So, um, um, I believe that is it, yeah. So, that is it, guys. Um, I think, hold on, hold on, let me, let me, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. So, and then we also got the GUI down and everything, so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try and, um, test this, oh, uh, hold up, cancel, okay. So, now that we have all this, um, this should, um, work, so what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna do this, uh, file, and then we're gonna click on publish to Roblox, and then it doesn't have to be titled anything, and we'll just click, uh, create, then boom, successfully published. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on this file. And then, um, yep, we're just gonna click on save to Roblox. Oh yeah, no games detected, so yeah. Um, let's go ahead and uh, click on close file. Um, let's go ahead and just let that load. We'll go to my games. Um, wait for that to load as well, there. Now click the three dots on the game that you added that band UI to. Click open place page, and then it'll open up a tab um, of the game. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click on play. Um, let's go ahead and let this um, load up Roblox. And then um, once this is loaded up, hope. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Just go ahead and 
uh, joining. Okay. So there, we got ourselves. Um, there's no animation right now because it hasn't loaded in. So let's go ahead and uh, wait for the stuff to like completely load in. Okay. So now, um, let's test out our button. As you can see, button works. Now for the name, we're going to do... Um, Oh yeah, and also um, you need to um, make sure that the ye the name is exact. So yeah, and then the amount of time we'll go ahead and ban ourselves for one hundred seconds. So that'll be like about a minute and a half. Um, and then uh, for the reason we're going to say this is a test. We're going to click on ban. And as you can see, you can kick. Um, Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know why that's like that, but don't worry, that's gonna change. So, we're gonna click on leave. Oh, yeah, that's because, uh, we put in the time, but now, whenever we join back, it's gonna say you're banned for, like, this, um, many more seconds. I forgot to put that in. I'm so, I'm sorry, guys, but, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and change that later. So, once we, um, join, let's go ahead and just, uh, give it a second load. And join away, link in with the server. Join. Um, let's wait for that. And as you can see, you have been banned by Big Year Old for 56 more seconds. Um, so that's basically, um, um, yeah. And then it says reason. And then we can go and click on leave. So let's actually go and uh, just fix that. Um, error real quick. It's a common error, so don't worry. That most people do this, so don't worry. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead and just go uh, into the script, and then we'll go ahead and make a value. Um, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just override the time for ban. Um, here, we'll go ahead and just name this one time. Uh, for unbanned, so let's go and do local time for unbanned, and then we're going to do equals, and then that's going to be um, time for ban, and then minus os dot time. So yeah. Um, now we just need to tame the, uh, change this, not tame this, I don't know if that was, <laughs> okay, so time for unban. Okay, so now, um, that's gonna, um, work now, so don't worry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel below, and this was a really long video, um, I'm sorry about how long it was, um, yeah, oh, and also, um, uh, oh yeah, never mind, never mind. So yeah, um, I will see you guys, uh, tomorrow. I hope, well, maybe not tomorrow, but next time.